This is a, pro a product called a hair wig. What the heck is A hair that? wig? Well, drain wig. It goes down the drain. Uh -huh. Okay. And it's an American product. It's American patented. Came from Utah. Huge success. Millions sold. You throw it out after it collects hair, save thousands in plumbing bills. Very simple device. It's patented with an American patent. As wow. soon as this thing became successful, it was knocked off all over the world, including the Asian market manufactured in China. Okay? Right. Okay. Now, here's a dilemma for all of us to think about. This company, an American company employing people, maybe 30 employees, 26, 30 employees, sales immediately began to drop off because they were able to cease and desist all over America and Europe, but they couldn't do it in China. My point is, it's time now to bring forward, forget about access to market. This IP issue is a big deal. And previous administrations have not ever addressed it. They're not willing to hold them to the wall. I'm calling out as an investor, supporting little companies like this that create innovations that, that are so simple and yet are important because they solve a problem. Let's fight the Chinese on this one. I don't let, use the, so I don't need a hanger that I use all the time. You it's say, you, you do say, that. yeah, you shouldn't. It hurts your the drain I wigs. What do you call you a plumber? A snake. You save thousands, Joe. I, Hotels I buy these now. Jeeves. Yes, Jeeves. You, do. you do. I know. Over here. It's true. He does. You have someone else call the the, the uh, so the last time nah. the, does it so that doesn't that stick sits there and the water still goes down with the and little three, six it weeks later you pull it, it out. The hair. You have I know, people with hair, but it's got a thing on top. You can't. Yeah, that sits on the drain. So that sits on top of the drain. So the hair the hair gets collected on here. You can't close the drain if you want to. Yes, you can. How? You uh, just pull, you pull a thing out, close a drain. Oh, That's pull it. it out and close it's it. When, it's mostly for showers where all that long hair goes down. That's where it's used in hotels and homes. Yeah, I need one but of the, the point it's is, funny that you, is great. That, that you but, who have no problems with ever clogging any drains, uh, <laughs> actually gave, you, you're the one that gave money. You, you, you know. I looked at it and said, you know, probably the reason the how drain, is, how how drains are plugged. What's that? How much do I, does this cost? Oh, they're inexpensive. Fourteen ninety nine to twenty nine, depending on the Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. And how, but the margin on this has got to be incredible. Thank you. Yes, it is. I mean, this, if this costs you more than two dollars to make, it'd be it's shocking. less than two dollars to make. That's be less than two dollars. We do, we sell them in packs of three. There's all kinds of different prices. Okay. My point is, the company cries out for help from the government. Yeah. It cries out and says, "Help me, help me." I'm glad you brought that example up because I think when you think about fighting intellectual property theft, you're thinking about tech firms. You're thinking about big companies. That's but my this is point, also Melissa. That's my small point. Small business. Yes. Making stuff that was born basically in the United States being manufactured abroad. Um, because we own the patent, when we see the right. knockoffs on Amazon, we call our team member at Amazon, they take it down. Can't do that on Alibaba. I'm calling out saying enough is enough. It's now time to hold their feet to the fire. I'm endorsing the administration saying to the Chinese, we're not going to stop until we get the IP thing worked out. And then there's access to market. I have another example. You've never seen this. This product is a fingerprint recognition lock, an American product that allows you to program in your fingerprint and open and close. Oh, that's good. Who, I mean, who's but it's manufactured the company, in China. Right? If the tariffs go in in January, this company won't be profitable. So already, it's setting up new manufacturing what in Taiwan, the runs in out? Cambodia, and, and what's that? What happens if the battery runs a, out? There's a battery in there. No, you can no, use a, a key thing. if you wish. Okay. I have a safe. I have a. Forget the name of it. It begins with a B. But I have a safe, a big, heavy safe that is where is there? it what you, operated. Where is uh, it? In What's my, the combination? In my house. What's the code? What's no, it's my fingerprint. It's my finger. Yeah, that's a that's a gun lock. This is the first patent that's ever issued lock. for a padlock with a key. This is a TSA lock that allows you to put and, this Andrew, on your lock. The battery goes out. There's a, a an external unit that plugs into it that will allow it, to, and then you can put new batteries in. But Joe, Got what do you it. think the Chinese are doing when they hear little companies like this all planning to move out? of the Chinese jurisdiction. Big and, sm and small. If, if the tariff goes into 25%, these guys have to move. You know what I don't like? You never know if you turn it all the way on the second one, where you got to yeah. go past the, you know how you got to do that? And it, did I do it more than once? Did I do it once? It's a pain in the ass. Again. Yeah, it's really. That's good. why the fingerprint's better. But it, the point much is, better. I think there's a lot of pressure within the Chinese government now saying, we can't let this happen. We'll lose all these companies. We'll move out to Vietnam and everywhere else. I say, keep up the pressure. Are you, don't do you stop. still have a